the, the focus of the Carl Vinson Institute of Government is obviously on government and leadership that have been here at the Vinson Institute have always been very supportive of the international work and saw the need to take the work that we do here and take it out into the world. Well, in 1998, uh, Dr. Steve Wrigley traveled to Shanghai to meet with Shanghai Administration Institute and Fudan University to explore ways that the Vincent Institute could be helpful to Chinese to bring public officials that are participating in their training programs to the United States to actually see up close and personal how local government, how state government, how federal government operates in the United States. We typically send instructors to China for a week to two weeks on a topic that the Chinese have identified and then that class comes to the United States a couple of months later for the experiential part where they actually get to see demonstrated to them how local government functions in the United States. So when we're talking to Chinese or Koreans or Libyans or Ukrainians, we're talking about a wide range of issues in which government here, local, state, and federal governments are engaged in that ultimately, hopefully, improves the lives of our citizens. One of the great things about bringing delegations to the United States is that you never know what they may focus on. When we had a Ukrainian mayor here in Athens, the mayor was here to meet with local government officials in Athens. But while he and I were driving around Athens one day, he asked me out of the blue, what is that yellow bus I see? And I said, it's a, well, it's a school bus. And what is a school bus, he asked me. And I said, well, it's a transportation service that local government through our school board provides to the citizens to pick their children up and take them back and forth to school. That mayor, Alexander Mazarchak, returned to Ukraine and started the first public school bus program in Ukraine. It was copied by cities all over Ukraine. So again, I, my hope is always that there could be these secondary benefits where cities and towns around the state of Georgia, our state government, this university, expands our relationships, expands our friendships with the international delegations that provides us greater opportunities to learn from each other, to exchange with each other, and to benefit from each other, whether that be economic benefits, social benefits, or political benefits.